No one likes cavities. They hurt, they're expensive, and they're just the worst. If you or a loved one have ever been graced by their annoying presence, then these videos are for you. Welcome back everybody. This is the first of a four part series on what causes cavities. In these videos, we're going to be talking about big picture stuff to keep things interesting and relevant for you and not get lost in the nitty gritty details. So if you're a molecular biologist interested in cellular signaling with respect to certain strains of streptococcus, this video is not for you. Your diet is a huge factor in the development of cavity, sugar bug, caries, craters, whatever you want to call it. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Mike, I know. Ever since I was a kid, the dentist, my mom, Everyone told me that if you have too much sugar, you're gonna get cavities. And while that's true, you might be surprised to find out that the amount of sugar you eat actually doesn't matter that much to your teeth. Say what? In fact, there is a way that having one orange juice is way worse for your teeth than having three Pepsis. Bear with me and I will explain. This is the Stefan curve and you need to understand it. On the left side of the graph, you have the mouth acidity and on the bottom, you have time. The lower you go, the more acidic it gets but beyond a certain threshold is the danger zone. When your tooth first starts out, it's nice and happy, until that is, it has some candy, at which point it takes a nosedive into acidic territory. Now the good news is, is with time it gradually recovers and you're in good shape. So what's the problem then? Well, there are certain circumstances where the teeth don't stay happy, and one of those is the snacker. So I'm gonna draw this graph for you one more time and we'll just cut to the chase here. As you know, once you have a meal, your teeth take a nosedive into the acidic zone. However, if before they've recovered, you have another meal or a snack, then you continue to nosedive further into the acid zone. If you eat too frequently, then you never have a chance to get your teeth out of there. And at one point or another, your teeth will have been in the acid so long that they'll have formed a cavity. Now that you understand that, you can see why three Pepsis might be better than one orange juice. With three Pepsis all at once, you're only exposing your teeth to one acid attack. If you have an orange juice that you're sipping on all day long, then you might be in a situation where your teeth are constantly under fire and have no chance to recover. For all of you who watched to the very end, thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you did. We'll be continuing the series next time with genetics in the environment. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. In no way do I want you to take this video to your parents, your spouse, your kids, whoever, and say, look, a dentist told me I can drink three Pepsis a day and be fine. That is not true. Other than your teeth, there are a lot of different systems in your body that will suffer when you throw that much sugar at them. So please, for the sake of your health, do not do that. It was just an example. Okay, bye.